Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Frank Schofield Sanchez and I'm going to be one of your TAs for this class. I'm sorry for the delay in the introduction. It's taken a while to, to get organized with Fuller and to be able to actually, you know, get settled. I also work full time, so I'm here. So I'm excited to be here and especially because I also know Nicole will be transitioning in a little while. Congratulations to Nicole on her, on her baby. And I'm excited to be able to get to know all of you, I hope, even if it's mostly virtually. I don't know if I'll be able to make it into class. I work uh, full-time, 10 to 7. I'm actually right now on my lunch break, so I, I just ran into the car to make this video. Um, but let me see. I'll start with introducing a little bit more about myself. I'm from Guatemala. All of my family lives down in Guatemala, but I also am... That's all my mom's side of the family. And then mom and dad live in Guatemala. Then on my dad's side, I'm half English, half Spanish. And most of his side of the family lives in England or Spain. So, and now I live in the U.S. I'm an immigrant to the U.S. And so I've got all of that kind of mixed mixed identity, which has was really fascinating exploring all of that uh, during my time at Fuller through, through academic studies. Um, I took Tommy's class about a year and a half ago, maybe two years now. It's been a while, but I, I loved it. I think that's one of the most important classes I took, especially because Tommy is really great about giving you guys the opportunity to be able to explore the things that you really care about as they relate to the class. So now I can move on to that with me. Um, you can even see on my shirt, this is what I do now, gang reduction and youth development. Um, in Guatemala, my family has been touched very closely by gangs and gang violence. Both, uh, I've had close friends who joined gangs, I've had close friends who were killed by gangs, and everything in between, to be honest. Uh, my family and I have walked with quite a few... Uh, friends of mine and and just even younger kids who have been involved in that so it's been something that that has been very important to me um, my particular interest in that as it relates to theology and the church has to do with just me growing up in the church and seeing the the profound uh, disconnection that the church has with the realities of gangs and gang violence in Guatemala except as uh, a few churches, and but the church is increasingly being something that Guatemalans turn to to try and give a solution to gang violence. It's it's a very Christian country, whatever that means. I mean, like eighty percent, about eighty percent of Guatemalans are self identify as as Christians in one way or another. Um, but anyway, uh, I I I um, I'm on a rabbit trail now back to the class. Uh, in the class, I had the opportunity to explore all of that, um, explore the different ways in which scripture can informs and can inform uh, the way that the church exists in Guatemala and exists at large as it relates to issues of violence. Um, my particular final paper was one of my favorite papers that I got to write and research for at Fuller. It had to do with the different ways in which the memory of Guatemala's civil war relates to the existence of gangs and gang violence and the way in which the memory of the Eucharist and the violence done on the body of Jesus creates a different sort of body. So how each different memory creates a different sort of body politic. Um, either a memory that doesn't understand its generational trauma and violence that is inherited from one generation to the next, or a memory that refuses to separate itself from the violence it has committed, and in so doing opens itself to receiving a kind of forgiveness that God offers and that is only experienced in the full depths of what it can mean through an honest memory of violence. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I I that I got to just dive into that with Tommy, and and it's been great. Um, I've seen a lot of the things we talked in class play out in my work in my life now, um, doing gang reduction and youth development, able to uh, lead workshops and organize workshops uh, in the community for the community uh, with community members um, employing different forms of art and artistic expression particularly stencil arts um, 
and using that as a way to introduce youth to different uh, quote-unquote revolutionary figures, everything from Oscar Romero to Malcolm X to Cesar Chavez to Asata Shakur to uh, Gloria Saldua. Uh, and many others so that uh, youth can find alternatives to the to the way of life and to the to the vision of gangs and to the identity of gangs in the revolutionary figures of their own communities that have power and that have vision and that have alternatives to, to what gangs offer. Um, I hope to someday start beginning to integrate that somehow also to, to churches in Guatemala, but that's that's in the future. For now, I'm here in LA and I'm in Koreatown near Vermont and 3rd, uh, if any of you are familiar with LA. And I also just realized this video is almost six minutes. Most of you are probably not listening anymore. So um, please reach out. Seriously, please email me, text me. Uh, I will send all that information on an email. Um, and I would also love to be able to organize maybe with a few of you, like get together like at a restaurant or a bar or a coffee shop or anything to talk more about topics of the class. Um, I just remember out of all of Fuller, where I learned the most was sitting in circles and just collectively learning and processing all the things that we're experiencing together uh, in the classroom. So I know Tommy's down for that too. So let's do that and let's get out on the streets and the church and, and let's, let's, let's get involved with the people and, and let's continue learning what's touching the lives of those we love and, and causing so much violence in the world. And I hope together we can find more of, of God's peace. So I'll talk to you all soon and I look forward to reading your posts and interacting with you more on Canvas. Peace.